What's up, everybody? My name is Elliot. Oh, hang on. You guys, you probably can't hear me under all this stuff. Oh, oh there goes that. Safety precaution. This stuff often does get it out of the way. What's up, everybody? My name is Elliot. I've shed some of that protective stuff, uh, but I still have enough on that I won't infect you through the internet. We're living in crazy times. We've got quarantining, self-isolation, toilet paper shortages. It's unprecedented stuff. The simple fact is, unless you stocked up weeks ago, you're going to have to leave your quarantine zone of choice at some point. I know I'm gonna have to, but I need to decide which of my two cars is best suited for that quick store run. Now, here in a second, I'm gonna bring out a smattering of items that represent a typical run to the store, and we're gonna see which car can hold all of them, and overall decide which car is best suited for the job. Let's talk some of the benefits of possibly taking the Prius on a store run. First, it blends in. No one's gonna think anything of it if they see a Prius park parking in a parking space and casually walking in to go get some supplies. And I can park it anywhere because I just don't care if it gets door dings. Problem is, it's not very fast. If someone were to see me loading some toilet paper into this thing and the situation got hot, I can't get away that quickly. And let's face it, it's not quite as fun to drive to the store as the Hellcat. Now, the Hellcat on the other end is very fun to drive. Considering I'm only leaving the house when I absolutely need to, that short period of time being fun is a huge plus. The bad side is it's loud. Everyone would see me coming, making people get even more defensive over their paper towels and toilet paper, something I definitely don't want. Another problem with the Hellcat, the fact is I'll probably have to stop for gas either to or from the grocery store, and that really increases my chances of infection. I do not want that. And here we have my example of things that you might get at the store. Remember, you're only out for a little while, so you have to get the essentials. So speed of loading is key here, because once people start seeing you loading these kind of hot items into your car in times like these, you might need to get out of there. Will all of this even fit in both cars? There's only one way to find out. First up, let's see how the Hellcat does with these items. But before I put them in there, let's go over what our little run to the store netted us. First and foremost, white gold. This is toilet paper. This is the hottest item right now. And as you can see, people already got to a few rolls, which, you know, what are you gonna do? People are desperate. I don't know how they were able to scan those roll by roll, but regardless, I'm just thankful to have gotten some. Next up, you got paper towels. Everybody needs them. You got an iron, you got bleach, and this is this I recommend pouring all over your doorway before you enter and leave the home to kill any germs. It's, it's just good stuff to have around right now. You got disinfectant wipes, self-explanatory. I'm wiping everything with these. Trash bags, again, self-explanatory. The iron, just because you're quarantined doesn't mean your outfits can't be looking crisp. And we have a slow cooker. Just because you're quarantined doesn't mean you can't have a nice meal. Moving on, we have shop towels, and those are for the kind of messes that these regular paper towels just can't clean up. Of course, we have the mighty Culligan water. Because regular bottled water is sold out, this is what I'm gonna be drinking from now on. And we have kitty litter. Because cats still need to go to the bathroom, even in times of crisis. Last but not least, even though this is a scary time, it's still a time when you can have fun. And what more fun is there than a good old fashioned pogo stick? Let's see how much of this we can fit in the Hellcat. Let's see here, we gotta think like a bagger. Uh, heaviest thing goes in first, I guess that would be the Culligan. Oh, I forgot to mention the fan. This is to blow all of that corona air outside of your house. This isn't to cool you down. This is to face towards the door to, to blow the corona air out. You don't want it. I'm going to save the white gold for last.
no problems whatsoever. The trunk is just gigantic in this thing. So what are you gonna do? This seems like the car to take, but let's go see how well the Prius does, just to be sure. Here we are with the Prius. Now let's try to load these same group of items into the economical hatchback. I have a feeling it'll do pretty well. I'm gonna load them roughly in the same order here, so. Big boy Culligan in first. Yep. <laughs> Man, I'm winded from loading that stuff. The Prius was pretty easy to load, but it's not as easy as I thought it would be. I thought it would be a great deal of magnitude easier to load this car, but the Challenger just has a never-ending well of a trunk. And right away, you can kind of spot a problem with the Prius. You can see that I'm hauling paper towels and white gold, AKA toilet paper, right through the back window. And that could be a problem if some guy in an F-150 is driving behind you he can see in your back window that you've got the goods. What he chooses to do after that is his deal, but I personally would just rather people not know I was hauling a load of toilet paper. These are weird times. You gotta guard the toilet paper. But the Prius still did pretty well. This is a tougher choice than I thought it was gonna be. In conclusion, both cars can hold all of the stuff, but the Prius is gonna have the best chance of getting you there under the radar, and in and out of there the quickest. So, it's a pretty easy choice. I have to go with the Hellcat. Look, like I said, if I'm only gonna be out of quarantine for 15 or 20 minutes, I want it to be a fun 15 or 20 minutes. Nobody wants to go to the store, nobody wants to fight over toilet paper, but at least during that brief drive from the store to home, I'll have some fun. Don't get me wrong, the Prius is the way to go for a ton of other things. But for a simple grocery run in times like this, it's important to have fun. And that's why I'm gonna go with the Hellcat. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. My name is Elliot. Stay safe out there, maintain your social distance, wash your hands, and I will see you on the next video. All right, guys, a little bonus content for you. I've got a buddy down the road who owns Wichita Clear Bra, and he's wrapping a C8 Corvette. It's possibly the first one in town. And uh, he said if I bring him a roll of toilet paper, he'd let me take a look. So let's go check that out. I got to grab a mask and get that roll of toilet paper. And I think that's a pretty good trade. Well, these are weird times, but luckily, you could still trade a roll of toilet paper to get a chance to take a peek at the hottest sports car out right now. This is one of, if not the first C8s in town, and our good friend Brandon here at Woodstock Clear Bra let us take a peek in exchange for one roll of white gold. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, is, uh, this is really something. I don't know why, I'm the only one wearing a mask, but... Yeah. <laughs> the rest of us got it. Right. Yeah. I gotta stay safe to keep giving you guys good content. Man, the C8 is amazing in person. It's so sleek and cool and futuristic looking. It's just, it's incredible. Really makes this thing look like a big primitive boat. I know that's already the internet joke, but whew. Anyway, what do you guys think? Should I trade this in for a C8?
let me know in the comments. Anyway, huge shout out to Brandon over at Wichita Clear Bra. I've got a link in the description below. Uh, this was cool. Thanks for sticking around for the bonus content. We'll see you guys on the next video.